Hello Techies, welcome to my new series Learn UI Path Step by Step. My name is Samir and I am a senior programmer. This is day 2, download and install UI Path Studio. In this session, one, we will learn where and how to download UI Path Platform Installer. Second, we will learn how to install UI Path Studio. And finally, we will see how to activate UI Path Studio. As a prerequisite, we require .NET Framework 4.5 or higher version to install UiPath Studio. UiPath is free and fully extensible RPA tool that automates any web or desktop application with ease, speed, and reliability. UiPath provides free trial for enterprise usage or community edition for the individuals or small-scale business. To download UiPath Platform Installer, please visit official website of UiPath. That is https colon double slash www.uipath.com. Now I will show you how to download UiPath from the official website. Let me switch to browser. Type www.uipath.com and click enter you can see over here that we are having different different tabs one is the rpa product solutions developer company partners news right you can see over here that you are having free robot you can click you can get the software from here or else you can go to the products tab over there that you can find it out studio tab click on that now on the right hand side you can see the start trail version let's click on the start trail version and you can see, you know, start your digital transformation right now, choose your UiPath solution. You can see over here the UiPath Enterprise for a RPA platform, or as well as the UiPath Community Edition. The UiPath is providing two softwares over here. One is Enterprise Edition and the Community Edition. Over here, if you want to get it any Enterprise RPA trial or else get Community Edition, before that, we want to know what's the difference between them. You can see over here the different scale uh, as well as the same power. What are the difference for the both UiPath Enterprise RPA platform versus UiPath Community Edition? The first thing is that uh, we will come for the Enterprise RPA platform. Over here you can see the target. The enterprise is target for the recommended enterprise businesses. Whereas if you see the cloud and on-premises, it is fully integrated with the UiPath orchestrator. And support, if you see the support for the Enterprise RPA platform, they're going to provide phone, email, and ticketing support, which, which all, all the RPA is providing. And if you see the updates, it is going to be implementing by the enterprise. And uh, included components, which UiPath Enterprise RPA platform consists of studio, robots, orchestrator. Okay, and if you see the trainings, you will having you know role-based online and on location. Training facilities has been provided by the enterprise RPA. On the activation, you can do an online and offline. But whereas if you see the community edition that you are having a limited over there, a little bit uh, compatible with the enterprise that you are having less differences over there. The first thing is that the community edition is going to be using for individual developers. As I said, and you know, you can find it only for small scale businesses over there. And it is not fully integrated over there, if you see up to only two robots connected to orchestrator. And also for the supporting kind of thing, only UiPath community form that only through that community form also, if you have any issues, if you have anything with the community edition, you can communicate through UiPath community form, right? And you can see the updates you will receive it automatically from the community edition and also if you're going for the components, you are having studio, robot, and orchestrator, you are having all the things. Okay. But if you have see the you know activation, you can do only an online. Okay, these are all the major differences for the uh, you know UiPath Enterprise RPA platform versus UiPath community. Now, what I want to do, see based on these features that I will prefer to take uh, you know enterprise RPA platform but we are having a free trail version, right? So that what I'm going to do as of now, get enterprise RPA trail version compatible with the community edition. So how we can get the download, how we can get the software of the UiPath. 
Now, what I'm going to do based on the feature that I'm having a good feature for the get enterprise RPA trial so that I'm going to get the enterprise RPA trial by clicking on the get enterprise RPA trial. Okay, you can see over here it is going to be redirecting to another page where you can see all kind of things. We are having a prerequisite over here. If you want to download this enterprise RPA platform, you should require, you know, corporate email ID. Okay, let me show you that. Over here you can see the first name. Okay, I'm just giving the details as first name as Amir and the last name I'm giving as Basha. Over here, you should require, uh, you know, it should require the corporate email ID. Let's assume I'm just saying amir.b at the rate of corporate.com. Okay, it's mandatory that you should require a corporate email ID for that. On the phone number, it's not mandatory, but if it is, if you're having any phone numbers, if you want to provide, you can provide it. Uh, this is the, not my number, don't mind for that. And uh, if you see the company, I'm just providing the company which I'm, I'm having. And then the company industry, you know, I'm just saying whatever the industry it may be. So I'm just providing the details. Okay, anything, it's a software company, Microsoft that we're having that I'm giving technologies. On the job level that, you know, based on the levels of your job that you want to, you can provide the details. And what are the field of expertise that I'm having a number of things. I'm just giving IT developer and the country I'm going to select India. Okay, so I have filled all my details. It's a mandatory to provide only corporate email ID. I'm re repeating again. Whenever you are going to give the details for email, it should be the corporate email ID. So they will check it out and uh, you know, they will get back to, they will send the links to all the things. If you see over here, there are three check boxes that we're having. One is subscribe to release notes. If you want to get any details release for the related to the UI path, you can check it this subscribe. And if you want to receive any communication about the UI path trailer, then if you are interested in the preferences, anything, you can go ahead and you can select the check box. And finally, you can see another checkbox that is nothing but I declare that I have read, I have read and I agree with the UF path trail agreements. So that after checking based on our requirement, so that what I'm, this is the checkbox is mandatory that we have to select it and we have to go through the UF path trail agreement and then only we can go ahead and we can request the trial version. Once you have requested it, that you can see, uh, you know, you will get a, a window like that, you know, Thank you for requesting your web path. Once you have sent the request, you will get a mail to your corporate ID in a such a way you will find it out, start your UI path platform trial version. I have given my details, right? So that you will get the link for the download of your path platform. Okay, and also including with your trial code that all the things you can get it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to download your path platform by clicking on the uh, URL over here, you can see the download UI path so that what will happen, it will start downloading the software, the real software. Now you can see the UI path platform installation EXE has started downloading and it will take a little bit time to download it. Now we have successfully downloaded UI path platform installer. Let me go to the folder. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to install UiPath Studio. Let me double click on the EXE of the UiPath platform installer first. Before that, I'd like to tell you, you have to install .NET Framework 4.5 or higher version of the .NET Framework 4.5 version to install UiPath platform installer. Okay, uh, please, uh, no, install as a prerequisite, please install .NET Framework 4.5 or higher version. Once you have opened it, you will find your path platform installer. Please read the UiPath path platform license agreement carefully and then select the checkbox here to accept the license on the agreement. And then click on next. If you are having, you know, any other languages, please select the language which you would like to. And then click on next. See over here in the UI path platform installer by using this you can install two things one is UiPath path studio or 
UA path orchestrator. And you can see on the right hand side, you can find out the release notes related to the UA path, which is the latest version. And you can see the documents for studio, robot, orchestrator activities. So we'll discuss all these things in a later on version. Okay. And the resources you will find it from UA path Academy. At the first step, you know, we are going to be installing UA path studio. Click on install. It will take a little bit time to initialize. It is first giving the UA Path Studio setup version 18.3.2. We can see welcome wizard for UA Path Studio setup. So what I'm going to do, I'm just starting the setup for in my local system so that I'm going to start and click on install. Before that, we can see the option over here, advanced. Let me click on advanced. Over here, you can see the UA Path Studio, UA Path Robot, along with the automatically start client, Java bridge, Chrome extension. These are all the things I'm not looking as of now. If you want all these things, you can go ahead and you can do that. As of now that I'm going back and then I'm going to click on install. If you see over here, it is ready to install your path studio. I'm going to click on install. It is started installing your path studio. It will take a couple of minutes to complete this. Now, UA Path Studio setup has successfully completed. You can see the option over here, Launch UA Path Studio. You have select this, this checkbox as of now. Because of uh, we have to give the trail code over here to complete this. Okay, let me go ahead, let me finish it. Once the UA Path Studio setup has completed successfully, and you know it is going to be launch the UA Path Studio. Now you can see the UI Path Studio is going to be launching. It is just going to create the applications and all the things. It will take a little bit time for the UI Path Studio. At the first time, it is going to take a little bit time to create the application, application windows, and all the things. And you can see the version. The version of the UI Path is UI Path 2018. The version is 2018.3.2. And you can see the welcome to UI Path Studio. Thank you for installing. Activation is required to authenticate this copy of UA Path Studio. The wizard will guide you through the activation process. Now, the thing is that if you have the active licenses, if, you ha if I have the trial license version, if you have anything for the enterprise or something else, you can go ahead and you can activate by giving the email address of your corporate account and the license key for that. And then you can go ahead and you can act manually activate that. If you don't have you know, go for the Activate Community Edition. It's a fee that you can give the email address, okay, of whatever you are provided. I'm just giving my email ID. After providing your email address of the corporate account, please click on Activate. Now you have passed to do activated successfully and you will get a message like that, you know, for in the browser. Thank you for installing UI path. Now before in the next session, what we'll do, we'll go for the UI path studio as of now that I'm going to close this UI path studio. In the next session, we will walk through of UI path studio. Thank you for watching UI path tutorials. We will see you in the next session.